Hello everyone, today I'm gonna be making these delicious cottage cheese quesadillas. These are super easy to make and if you make these make sure to send me your pictures on my Facebook page or Instagram. And if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Now let's get started with the recipe. Heat a pan and add in oil, then add in onions and stir them until they are transparent in color. Then add in red and green bell peppers and saute them with the onions. After that, add in olives and stir them with the rest of the vegetables. And finally, add in the cubed cottage cheese or paneer. And you could see some lettuce over here. And that was added accidentally because I was just clearing off any vegetables remained on the uh, chopping board and they just went in. And then add in half a teaspoon of salt and red chili powder. Mix everything together so that the spices get mixed really really well. Then add in cumin powder and mix it well. Now add in the pizza sauce and stir everything but make sure you are gentle because you could break the cottage cheese in the process which you don't want to do. Add in half a teaspoon of salt again and mix everything. Let it cook for a minute and a half or two and after that your filling's ready. Keep it aside to cool a little. Now for the sauce add in mayonnaise and then squeeze in a lemon juice to it and mix it very well so that it becomes smooth and a little runny. Then add in tomato ketchup and mix everything well. Finally add in oregano to it and mix it really well and your sauce is done. Take a tortilla and spread the sauce over it. Then Add in half of the filling we created and top it over with some grated cheese. Then take another tortilla and cover it to form a quesadilla. Now press it gently and after that heat a pan and add a little bit of oil and then transfer your quesadilla to it, over it to toast it. You could also use a panini press. Now since I don't have one, I was using this pan and after it's golden brown on both the sides it's done it would take about a minute or two on each side you could get the detailed recipe on my blog so you could check the link which I'll put on the screen or in the description box below to see all the measurements and the detailed recipe if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for more videos and I'll see you in my next video bye